Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Pisces. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, so Pisces, we'll just jump right in. I'm just using my good tarot deck today, so there are no uh, animal oracle in your spread today. Uh, we begin your reading with the Queen of Water. Obviously, your energy here, Pisces, coming in to the reading to begin with. You seem to be in a deep state of daydream or creative process, a really dreamy, inward-turned energy, especially with the second card coming out as the messenger of Earth, this being somebody in your vicinity, in your environment, somebody you have a relationship with. You are very much in your own world of imagination and creativity, and then there is this person in your um, physical 3D life, very practical life, earthy, could be an earth sign, um, standing in front of you trying to get your attention, trying to pull you, pull your awareness out of this um, deeply immersive imaginary realm that you seem to be residing in. They seem to very much want to communicate, being a messenger, to communicate a very practical, earthy matter to you um, in your dream, daydream realm. And the seven of fire coming out next, what I was getting from this is that you, it's almost like they don't exist. You are just looking or your energy or your awareness is just moving right past this messenger of earth and staying within this dreamy, um, almost whimsical realm of yours, this, you know, the, it being nighttime, the unicorn, I was just getting this almost like a dream state. It's like you're deep in a dream and someone's trying to wake you and you're in, in a set with the ace of, with the ace of air coming out after the seven of fire, very, um, you know, just accentuating this energy that almost, if you know, it's like if you do have a sense of this person or you can feel them pulling on you, you almost double down on your um, intent to stay within this imaginary dream world. You don't want to surface. You don't want to hear their message. You don't want to. Um, you don't want to wake up from whatever this is. With the nine of fire out next, this card for me in the past has represented um, somebody who you know, is having such a good dream that it's like they want to take, you know, when, you, when you're having an amazing dream and you're, you're, you're wanting to take it with you into your wake state, it's like clenching onto some part of the dream so adamantly hoping that when your eyes open, it will still be in your hands. It's that kind of energy. Like you've discovered something, you know, in your imagination or in your dream state, you know, maybe in a meditative trance, you've discovered some kind of an energy or vision or information that has really got your attention. You're fully locked into it, fully captivated by it. And you're trying to find a way to bring it into your, into your practical real life. And that seems to be kind of what's going on here with this, this, this relationship or what's going on in this energy exchange. This could just be, um, you know, your, your intuitive, creative side and your practical, um, you know, rational side. It could be two sides of yourself. But it's like you, you are refusing to budge from this um, dream, dreamscape that you're in until you can find a way to pull it into this, into the reasoning practical part of your life. And unless, or, unless or until you can find a way to do that, it's like you're refusing to surface. You're going to stay there where it is because it's completely captivating you. You're mesmerized by it. It's like I said, it's, it's very hypnotic. There's a real hypnotic trance elements of this state um so and with the star card out next again just just more of that energy the star you know all this star energy the star being hopes and dreams and wishes 
It's like you, you've got, you're clamped onto this wish, this dream of yours, and you're just refusing to budge. You're in, like, if you see her gaze there, she's very much in dreamland and just imagining, just fixated on this, whatever it is she's grasping, grasping this thing, this dream, this, this creative idea. So you're very much still in this creative process. You're very, very deep in a creative process or in a state of kind of unpacking or processing whatever this was, if this is like a massive download you received, um, you know, you're still very much in the state of unpacking it or like I said, seeing how to bring it forward into your real life. Um, and the fool card coming out next, this is your, your person, your messenger of earth. Again, you know, trying to get through to you, trying to connect with you in this imaginary dream state that you're in They're They're, they're calling to you very loudly, trying to get your attention. But you can see with these two cards, they're very focused on you and calling you. But you're, it's like you're just looking right past them. You're not, almost like you're not even aware of them because you're, you're just so consumed with this, whatever this is that you've discovered, that you've discovered, but is still in, the, in this dreamscape. It's not, it's not yet physical. Um, and with this magician energy coming out next, this is your, this is your person, your messenger of earth doing everything they can. It's almost like with this energy here, I was almost seeing them kind of, um, taking on this hypnotic dreamscape energy that you're very much in. And because you're not being called out of it, it's almost like they're coming into it to get to you they're they're it's like they're coming through the veil they're they're piercing your dreams and, and communicating with you through your dreams now because they they can't seem to get to you in another way and they have something that here in their hands they're trying to show you something something is trying to be shown to you like i said it's either um you know through your own reasoning practical mind or through somebody in your life a partner somebody in your family is very much trying to communicate and show you something. It's like they have an answer. They have an answer for you that like you are searching for. You've gone inward. You've gone into your imaginary realms, into your dreamscape, searching for a solution to this. And it's like they're saying, look, I have, I have a piece of it right here. But it's like, like I said, you're looking right past them. There's trying really, it's trying to be brought to you. It's like you're inward looking for it in there, but it's, it's, it's very much right in front of you trying to be shown to you. If you would, if you would just break your focus on, on whatever it is that you're focused on internally, it's funny because usually I'm saying the opposite. Usually I'm saying, don't be distracted by what's going on in your physical reality. Go with your own intuition and your, what's coming from within but there's something here about like with the hangman card and the temptation card coming out next. There's something here about like that you you're stuck somehow your per, your perception or your perspective got stuck it got hung up somewhere along the lines. Somewhere along the line you got hooked on something that you're like you just can't move out of. It's almost become this addictive addiction fixation of yours with the temptation card it's all about addictions you know especially with this hangman energy it's like something about this whatever this is whatever this symbolizes for you it's almost like you you see you see this as the answer it's you see this as what you're searching for but your fixation on it has almost just locked down your your entire energy, your life, like you, everything about your life has come to a halt because you've, you've become fixated on this thing. Like I said, it's a very kind of addictive, repetitive, cyclical. It's like your, your, your awareness is, is, is locked on something, seeing it as the answer when the, the answer is trying desperately to be brought to you, but you, 
It's like you won't lift your your eyes and see what's right in front of you. It's right in front of you very much trying to make itself known. It's very much trying to get your attention. It's like, yes, you might have you might have gotten a glimpse of it. There is some truth to this, whatever this is, there's some truth to it. But it's like there's some other, like I said, a person in your life or the energy here is that, yes, there's there's truth and answer and solution in this. But it's like, but you got to you got to bring it out into into the light of day. You've got to bring it out of your imagination and into the practical realm. And there seems to be a way to do that, that this uh, messenger of earth magician energy is trying to show you. You know, they're the manifester. They're trying to show you how to pull it forth into the 3D realm, into your practical life. But you're so locked into dreaming about it that you're not making that step to bringing it forth. It's like you it's like you think if you let go of your fixation on it, it's just going to disappear like a puff of smoke, like a dream. It's just going to evaporate. But this energy here is saying that that's not the case. It's trying to show you the way it's trying to, the path is trying to be shown to you. But you're ending this part of the reading, Pisces, still in this energy. It's like you, you're you just not seeing it. You're still fixated. You're still, no matter how how loud this trumpet gets, no matter how much this, this person is, is trying to wake you, trying to pull you, out of this fixation, you're just, it's like your energy is just looping back around. Like I said, it's like you're looking right past them. You're unaware of them completely. But it's like, I feel like they have the answer. But you're not seeing it because you have to let go of your grip on this, whatever this is, whatever this represents to you. So if if this resonates with you, Pisces, if you know what I'm talking about, if this if you see yourself in these cards... And you feel like perhaps there is something really trying to come through for you that you're just not seeing because you're really focused. You're really focused on a, a dream or a hope or a wish that you have. If you see yourself in these cards, I'm going to continue to pull more and um, create an extended and see what else we can find out about this. But it's, it's very clear to me that the answer is is very much in your physical environment. It's like maybe you weren't, you couldn't see it before. There's something really important about this part of it. It's like, yes, you were meant to discover this spark of inspiration or this dream or this download or this vision, whatever it is that you had. But what it was meant to do was to trigger your awareness of it actually already being in your environment. It's like it's already right there in front of you. And this dream or this epiphany was supposed to point that out for you. It was supposed to make this connection so you would say, oh, yes, this thing that's right in front of me is the answer. But you have yet to, to break your focus on, on the uh, message you have, you have yet to break your focus here in order to realize that it, it's he, it is here, if that makes any sense. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, create an extended. If you're interested, the link is in the description box. And if not, um, I hope that you uh, received enough from this message to know how to, how to step forward out of this. It's like just, just put that thing down. Put this thing down, whatever this is, and assess what's in your environment. It's right there trying to make itself known to you. Okay, Pisces, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.